blues. Got some blues fans out here, right? Blues is my second favorite kind of music in the whole world. Gospel is number one. Gospel was the music I was raised up with in South Carolina. Gospel and blues are very similar. People ask me, they say, what's the difference between gospel and blues? Well, it's pretty easy. Gospel is the way things ought to be. Blues is the way they are. Gospel says that no matter how bad and effed up the world gets, with a little bit of faith and a little bit of prayer, it'll get better. Blues says, <laughs> don't count on it. Blues is all about telling your own story. I can't tell Josh's story. I can't tell Timmy's. But it never hurts to borrow from somebody else a little bit. This is a song that was originally done by a guy named Little Johnny Taylor. Called Everybody Knows About My Good Thing. My version's called I Asked the Garbage Man About You and He Started Talking Trash. <laughs> trash. I called up my dermatologist. He said, don't do nothing rash. And then they get worse, buddy. And then the tailor made a remark, just a little bit off the cuff. The guy down at the SPCA said, don't you know she likes it rough? Yeah, I called the plumber. see right through you. Jimmy Swagger called from Louisiana. So she made me say hallelujah. I talked to Dr. Phil. He said she doesn't emotionally impair me. The guy down at my bowling alley said, come on, pal, spare me. Get it? Bowling alley, spare me. We all are up tonight. Lord, everybody, everybody knows about my good thing. And one more thing, honey. I talked to my friend Sonny. He said he heard you like to share. Donald Trump called me up. I got quiet on that one. <laughs> Said, uh uh, miss my hair. The guy down at Lowe's Garden Shop said, Your fence is needed mending. The guy down at the, or the girl down at the massage parlor said, No, 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 no happy ending. I talked to OJ. He said, You made him feel confined. I asked my brother, Am I a Patsy? Decline. Tattoo parlor. I said it was just tit for tat. The guy from the credit bureau said he wasn't gonna duck you. The teenage boy down the street, yeah, maybe not yet. Yeah, call the plumber. Sorry. Oh, 
homeless man, to the butcher man, to the UPS man, to the hungry house man, to Mr. Patel running the Viking Motel said Reverend Billy works there still cleaning up the mess in the heart-shaped Bob Rain water bed with the magic fingers in the honeymoon suite since the last time they turned you loose in Pittsburgh. And everybody knows about my good thing.